Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Malone. Thanks for joining us on TCM as we shine our spotlight on our star of the month, Frederick March. He was a Wisconsin native who actually started his career as a banker, but after surviving a life-threatening illness, he decided to pursue his real passion, acting. And we are so glad he did because he gave us wonderful performances like the one you're about to see from 1941, directed by Irving Rapper, also starring Martha Scott, It's One Foot in Heaven. Here, March plays William Spence, a man who abandons his plans to become a doctor when he receives a calling to be a pastor. He and his wife move from Canada to the US so he can work in a local church, and there they suffer a lot of ups and downs, but also raise a loving family. And this film was adapted from a memoir by William Spence's son, Hartzell Spence, who wrote about his family and his father's work as a minister. When he sold the film rights to Warner Brothers, his mother said she had only one actor in mind to play her husband, Frederick March. And the studio agreed, and then when Mrs Spence was invited to set later on and met Frederick March, she reportedly said, He's almost as good looking as well. Warner Brothers also brought Minister Dr. Norman Vincent Peale onto the set as a technical advisor, but while his help was appreciated, the cast and crew felt under pressure to be on their best behavior in front of him. In the end, the film was a great success, getting an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. Let's get into it and keep a lookout for Gig Young in one of his earliest film roles and enjoy one foot in heaven.